doesn't love a good proposal? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 TV Marriage Proposals. Fozzie Braverman, I want to be your wife. Will you still marry me? For this list, we're looking at even more great proposal scenes from our favorite TV shows. If you think one of your favorites is missing, be sure to check out our first video on the topic. <laughs> Number 10, Jim and Pam, The Office. And we're still good for this weekend, right? No um, baseball games, recitals, karate tournaments. Yeah. Hey, can you go to IM? Okay. Okay. Jim and Pam from the American version of The Office have to be one of the greatest TV couples of all time. And while Jim may be adept at putting tons of planning into elaborate pranks, we probably should have known that this proposal would be a sweet and simple one without any fanfare. Jim and Pam's relationship was never over the top. It was just two best friends falling for one another. Can't wait. Oh my god. So when Jim pops the question at a highway rest stop, it may not be the stuff of great romance, but it's perfectly romantic just the same. Number 9. Jackson and April, Grey's Anatomy. And you, April and Matthew's closest friends and family, are here today to bear witness to their union. Many of the proposals on this list are of the traditional get-down-on-one-knee variety, but this one is a little bit different. As April and Matthew get ready to exchange their vows, Jackson stands up in the audience and proclaims his love for April. She ultimately runs away from her own wedding with him, and the audience later finds out that they've eloped. I'm happy to be here today. I love you, April. I always have. I love everything about you, even the things I don't like. I love. And I want you with me. I love you, and I think that you love me, too. We don't even get to see Jackson propose, which makes this an unconventional proposal for sure. But this grand romantic gesture did lead to a wedding, and isn't that what really matters? Stand up and take it. Number 8. Luke and Lorelai, Gilmore Girls. Rory dropped out of Yale. What? She dropped out of Yale and she moved in with my parents who I went to for help and they stabbed me in the back. Everything we worked for all these years, her whole future. She was supposed to have more than me. Even in this modern day, it's still pretty rare to see women propose to men on TV or in movies. That's why this example from Gilmore Girls is one of our favorites. After Rory announces that she will no longer be attending Yale, Luke quickly jumps into action rattling off a list of strategies, both reasonable and absurd, to Lorelai, formulating a plan to ensure Rory sticks to the right path. Lorelai listens patiently, and when he finally stops speaking, she asks him in the most simple, straightforward, and unplanned way if he'll marry her. Luke, will you marry me? What? And we've got to say, Max's proposal to Lorelai in the first season finale is one for the books, too. God, you talk so good. I don't want an answer now. I've thought about this. I want you to do the same. I love you, Lorelai Gilmore. And I know this to be true. Number seven, Barry and Iris, The Flash. And my mom used to always say that musicals have the power to make everything better. Did it work? The Flash is a CW superhero series. So when a musical episode showed up in the middle of season three, fans were surprised and delighted. While the gang gets into plenty of musical hijinks, the episode ends on a sentimental note when Barry begins singing to Iris, a song called Running Home to You. Come running home to you. The entire performance is sugary sweet, with him serenading her with his romantic tune. As the song winds to a close, it starts to become obvious where this is heading, and he pulls out a ring asking her to marry him, to which she happily says yes. But I want you in it. Every hour, every minute. Number six, Nathan and Haley, One Tree Hill. Well, you know, docs are kind of special for us. Remember the time Dan busted us for drinking? Ugh, don't remind me. <laughs> Although I have to say, I 
I did kind of enjoy throwing up on him. <laughs> Usually, memorable proposals don't happen when a couple is already married, but this is One Tree Hill, so you always have to be ready for the unexpected. Nathan and Haley first get married in season one of the show, when they're full of young love. By season three, however, they've gone through plenty of ups and downs as a couple, and so Nathan proposes all over again, suggesting that this time they actually get married in front of all the important people in their lives. Haley, what are you doing? Over the past year, I've learned so much about life and love. And even if I could, I wouldn't take back all the bad stuff that's happened between us. Because it brought us here. Of course, Haley says yes, and while they don't quite live happily ever after without incident, they're still hands down the best couple on this crazy show. Marry me, Haley. Marry me again in front of all our friends and our family. Always, always and forever. Number 5. Glenn and Maggie, The Walking Dead I want to marry Maggie. And we don't have to have a wedding. I don't even know if it'll last a week, but I want her to know. It's not a stretch to say that The Walking Dead isn't a romantic show, but amidst all the death and devastation, there are some tender moments of love. Uh, just one more thing before that. <laughs> Glenn and Maggie were a fan favorite couple. And in season three, Glenn steals a quite beautiful ring from a walker's finger and puts it in Maggie's hand, wordlessly asking her to be his wife. It's clear that there won't be a typical wedding and that this won't be a typical marriage, but that doesn't stop the love that's obviously present between these two. Yes. Number four, Jake and Amy, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Rotten hell, crap face! Also, I love you and I treasure you, and you bore me. Gosh, you're being so mean. Do it more. I hope you die. <gasps> Bye. From the moment we were introduced to Jake and Amy in Brooklyn's 99th Precinct, it was clear that there was palpable chemistry between these two. Though they may have spent the first few seasons sparring, it eventually turned to outright flirting, which eventually turned into a relationship. <sighs> oh my god, I'm shaking. I'm definitely gonna cry title of your sex tape. Wait, is this really happening? In a rare moment of seriousness from Jake, he gets down on one knee and offers Amy a ring while delivering an adorable speech about how much he loves her. And because it's Jake, and because this couldn't possibly be too serious, of course he still mentions her butt. I love how smart you are. I love how beautiful you are. I love your face, and I love your butt. I should have written this down first. No, no, it's okay. Go on. Number three, Kurt and Blaine, Glee. I mean, all you gotta do is say yes, no, or maybe. Is there another option? <laughs> there are a lot of great proposals on Glee, from Will and Emma's to Brittany and Santana's to, of course, Kurt and Blaine's, which has to be our favorite. This much-loved couple ended up getting engaged in the very spot where they first met, after Blaine staged an epic musical performance featuring just about everyone they both knew. Nothing you can say, but you can learn how to play the game. It's easy. This proposal is basically exactly what we'd expect from these two. It's over the top, it's colorful, it's full of music, and above all, it made us want to bawl our eyes out with happiness. There was no way Kirk could say no to this one. And I just feel so lucky that I found you so soon in this lifetime. Because all I want to do, all, all I've ever wanted to do, is spend my life loving you. Number two, Chuck and Blair, Gossip Girl. I, I don't feel guilty, but that doesn't mean that I'm not. Just because the reason for a proposal isn't the most romantic doesn't mean the proposal itself isn't. In the series finale of Gossip Girl, Bart Bass has just been killed, and both Chuck and Blair are going to be questioned about the circumstances of his death. Even if they torture me, I won't speak. I, uh had a different kind of torture in mind. Jack Bass suggests that in order to gain spousal privilege, so that Blair doesn't have to testify against Chuck, they get married. Blair is quick to jump on the idea, and Chuck agrees, using this stressful and dramatic moment to ask her to be his wife. We knew this would happen eventually, but we couldn't imagine it would happen like this. Blair, Cornelia Waldorf, will you marry me? 
Well, this list has been a bit of a roller coaster, hasn't it? Like, some are super romantic, some are stressful, and most of them made me cry. But that's not hard. While the couple in our number one pick doesn't end up staying together, they did pull off one hell of a proposal. Any ideas? Let's see these HMs before we see which couple's at the top. And now, I never want it off your finger. Will you marry me? I've known since the minute that I met you. <gasps> oh my God. Cecilia Puri. Oh God, you're gonna say something stupid, aren't you? Girl, will you marry me? Always go out for banana splits. <laughs> and replant the lemon tree that keeps dying. And I never ever want to miss a pizza night. <laughs> and that's how I know I want to marry you. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh my god, it's not... God, that... That's such a beautiful ring. Really? <laughs> yeah. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Barney and Robin – How I Met Your Mother Barney's getting engaged. Bangido. <laughs> We've gotta admit, with the perspective of a few years, Barney's antics on How I Met Your Mother seem a lot less charming. But at the time that this episode aired, fans couldn't help but be taken with this notorious playboy finally making the decision to settle down. Of course, he couldn't possibly propose to Robin in any sort of normal functional way, opting instead to orchestrate an insanely elaborate play as the final move for his playbook. This, this is proof of why we don't work, why we'll never work. So thank you. You've set me free because how could I be with a man who thinks that this trick, this enormous lie could ever make me want to date him again. Turn it over. It involves lies, deception, and manipulation, and Robin is not impressed. But when he gets down on one knee, she still can't say no. Yes. In the oceans deep in the can Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.